Hey guys, welcome to Enzyme Mental. Before we begin, hit that subscribe button below and click the bell so you don't miss any notifications. And today I'm going to introduce you to a vitamin D activated family of proteins that function as part of our innate immune system, or the immunity that we're born with that is largely the body's first line of defense against pathogens and other invading microbes. These proteins are called cathelicidins, and they're known as host defense proteins or antimicrobial peptides, and they're highly effective against bacteria, fungus, viruses, and parasites, and again, vitamin D is a potent cathelicidin activator. Primary cathelicidin in humans is known as LL37, our neutrophil white blood cells store this cathelicidin and release it once the neutrophils are activated. But cathelicidins can also be released by other immune cells like macrophages. As you can imagine, a reduced expression or a total lack of cathelicidins is associated with an increased risk of infection and even the progression of autoimmune diseases. In addition to binding to and killing a range of pathogens, cathelicidins also participate in vitamin D's modulation of inflammation during an active infection. Autophagy, or the metabolic process that, by which our cells cleanse themselves of toxins and other metabolic waste, is part of this too, as autophagy enhances the cathelicidin's antimicrobial effects against invading pathogens. Autophagy steeply declines as we age, so this is of critical importance to much older people. Cathelicidins are just one of a host of antimicrobial proteins, what I call vitamin D's antimicrobial arsenal, and these proteins act, in a sense, like natural antibiotics. These microbial proteins, and cathelicidin especially, can bind to and rupture the plasma membrane of bacteria and other microbes. Cathelicidin is the best known antimicrobial protein involved in vitamin D receptor signaling. During an infection, vitamin D coordinates the innate immune system to produce antimicrobial proteins, including cathelicidin. These antimicrobial proteins then regulate the functions of several immune pathways, like autophagy, cytokine production, reactive oxygen species, and interferon. In fact, the antimicrobial actions of monocytes and macrophages are dependent on vitamin D's activation of cathelicidins. So when you hear that vitamin D is one of just a few select nutrients that actually activate the immune system, this is one major reason why. Cathelicidins are also effective at dissolving preformed bacterial biofilms. As drug-resistant infections are escalating, these natural vitamin D-activated antimicrobials are a welcome alternative to the increasing failure of prescription antibiotics. Remember that vitamin D is fat-soluble, so look for it either in a soft gel and or a fat-based liquid. You should be pairing your vitamin D with magnesium because magnesium is required to convert vitamin D into its active form, and also magnesium supports the function of several immune cells in its own right. As for a daily vitamin D dose, already feeling healthy, try taking around 5,000 IU to as much as 10,000 IU of vitamin D every day with around 500 milligrams of magnesium. If you're feeling sick, triple this amount. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.